An internationally revered jazz artist. Composer and musical director. Who enthralled audiences around the world for over 30 years. His music reflected the spirit of the times, the hunger for freedom by the disenfranchised and downtrodden, but also captured their spirit of hope for a better future. He used his talent to help fight apartheid in South Africa and help forge unity. A book about his life and times is in the works. It was written by a South African scholar who was in New York with Jonas Gwangwa in the Manhattan School of Music days, Sam Shakong. But it's a big story yeah. and it's a large family. And there was a huge amount of editorial research, which tragically we were in the midst of initially two weeks ago when May Violet Gwangwa passed away. Yeah. And she was the family archivist and historian. And now Bra Jonas himself has passed away. And I suspect that this may delay the process a lot because with such a great and kaleidoscopic story to tell, we have to get all the details right. The Soweto-born musician was an esteemed member of the Order of Ikamanga, with numerous accolades collected over the years. For him, although he loved all the other accolades, no one is going to be displeased by those. Mm. For him, the greatest achievement was the decade of his life that he devoted to the Amandla Cultural Ensemble because the struggle mattered to him and because in giving up what was a very, very successful American jazz career, a way he was touring with um, Herb Albert. His passing has been described as a loss to the country. We've lost an icon in Jonas Guangwa. We have lost someone that was there from the beginning. He was part of our struggle and he was part of our entertainment. He's one of the entertainers of, of South Africa and worldwide he was recognized. Today we want to bid him farewell and say, Tata, you have left a big mark within the entertainment industry, but also in South Africa. An ANC delegation will visit the family on Monday.